Hey everyone, today we're going to look at async data, how to fetch data from an API. So basically in our documentation under guides, we have everything split into books. So we've got a features book and under features book, we have data fetching. So if you go to data fetching, then over on the right hand corner, you have your table of context, contents and you just click on async data and it's going to bring you to this part of the page. So async data, um, basically what it does is it fetches the data before the page has rendered. So you're getting everything at the one time. It's not rendering a part of the page and then fetching the data and adding that to the page. So this gets it all beforehand. So in order to use async data, we need um, to fetch something. We need to use like a, a fetch library, right? We need to use um, HTTP or Axios. So this example in the docs is using the HTTP module. And you can click on this link to get information on how to install that. I'm going to use Axios because that's what we already installed when we created our application the other day using Create and Upstart. So literally this example, I'm going to copy it and then I'll go through it in a second. So we can literally just copy the example from the docs and then we can go to our application and let's create a new page. Actually, I'm going to create a folder called posts because um, this is like where I put my blog posts and you could just put it at a root level, but I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to create a page called underscore ID. This is a dynamic page, right? So if we use the underscore, we're creating a dynamic page. So we don't know what the name of that page is because we don't know what is it going to be post one, post two, post three, post four, post five. Um, we could create all them sim single pages and then like that would be a nightmare, right? So we want to create one dynamic page that's going to be used for all those posts. So underscore ID and I paste in what I got from the documentation. Now I've got some squiggly lines going on there. That's kind of a pretty issue. So I'm just gonna press save and that will fix that and, um, and fix my prettier issue, right? So you could just right click as well and say fix prettier issue. So let me show you what's going on here. I'm gonna go straight to the script tag and we're using export default and we're basically using async await and we're using async data, which comes from Nuxt. And this is how we're gonna get our data. So this is a Nuxt thing, async data. And we pass in uh, to the context uh, params and dollar HTTP so so that we can use it. So this is where the, how the context works. We want to be able to use this um, in the application our params and HTTP. So in order to be able to get access to it from the context, we have to pass it in here. So params is coming from our root. There are root params. It's like when you uh, write one or two or three in the URL, you're getting that 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 params, right? It's coming from there. And dollar HTTP, this is um, the module we installed so we can access it by putting it in here. Now, I said we're using Axios, so I'm gonna change HTTP to Axios. But if you were using HTTP, then you can leave this exactly as is. Um, just to show you uh, that I have this installed, you can see in the package JSON, I have um, it as a dependency Nux.js Axios. And in the Nux config, you will see it in the modules, okay? In the module section of your Nux config. So if you've got the HTTP module, make sure you've already, you've got it in there or install it and then add it in here as well. Okay, let's go back to our underscore ID page. Um, so I'm using const post. You can call this whatever you want. So it could be const article, const blog, const whatever. And I'm awaiting my Axios call using $get and I pass in the URL of my API. So this is my API and I want to get from my API the posts and I want to get the post of the ID that's coming from the URL, coming from the root param. So this could be, for example, one, right? And then I will get the first one, the first ID. But um, I'm going to get it from params because it's a dynamic. So this is how I get this. And then I return post destructuring it here. and then I can actually access this in my template. Remember to use um, the double curly brackets here so that I can access um, what's actually, you know, JavaScript instead of actually accessing, like if I just put, you know, this, it would be text, right? So I'm using post.title and post.description. So post whatever's in here and then give me the title of that and the description of that. So that's pretty much it. That's all I need in order to be able to get data from an API. Let's have a look at it. So here's my um, application. It's up and running. I pressed yarn dev and I'm going to add in posts and add in one and I'm going to get my 
post with my param ID of one, and it's gonna give me back Mount Everest, uh, which is my title and my description. Mount Everest is Earth's highest mountain, right? So if I wanted a different one, I put in two, and I get Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps. Interesting. So I can actually inspect this a little bit further and see what's going on. So I've got my view dev tools installed here and uh, that's a Chrome extension you can add. And I can literally just kind of say, right, I'm in my page posts underscore ID view. Okay. And I want to know what's going on here. So I have data, right? I've got data of a post. Remember I call it post and it is an object. What's inside that object? I've got a continent, I've got countries, which is an array, France and Italy. I've got a description, my directory, my height, my ID, remember ID two, my image. So I've got access to all of this. So I was to change this to three, then I'm gonna basically get a post in my data with an ID of three. Okay, so that's how you can kind of like see what's going on and see what you have access to. So then you can, you know, print out um, post dot height and you'll get the height of the mountain, etc. So that's kind of really cool, right? And um, this is all we did. We just went to the documentation and we copied it and that's it. Now, this is um, something we've created for our demo purposes and I'm, it's kind of like a little secret. So kind of don't tell anyone this, but this is a Air API and you're welcome to use it. So if I was to go in here, let me just open here and paste it in. Um, this is an API we created. We need to make this a bit nicer. We'll work on that. But uh, you can access any of this. So this is the post when I was accessing. Now I've got a Chrome extension installed so I can make my uh, JSONs look prettier. If not, yours will be a little bit ugly. But just install a Chrome extension and then you'll, you'll get it like this. So you can then explore uh, what's inside all of these. And this is just like what we're using for creating demos and stuff, but you're more than welcome to also use it, uh, especially for just testing things out. And it just kind of makes it nicer than getting Laura Mibsons back. So yeah, that's our little secret. Don't tell anyone about our API uh, from Nuxt. And um, yeah, literally uh, use the view dev tools to be able to see what's going on and see what you have access to as well. And this is async data. It's as simple as that. And of course, don't forget to use the documentation um, and check out the examples there. Have fun fetching from next. Thanks. Bye.